The Travels of Marco Polo. Who was Marco Polo? Marco Polo was born on September 15, 1254 in Venice, Italy. He died in January of 1324 in Venice, Italy. He was the son of Niccolo Polo and nephew of Maffeo Polo. He wrote an autobiography called The Travels of Marco Polo or Il Milione. He provided inspiration for other explorers such as Christopher Columbus. He was inspired to travel by Islam's death in 1269. Journey to China Marco's father and uncle set sail from Constantinople to Crimea for trade. They received an invitation to Cathay to meet Kublai Khan. In 1265, they arrived at Kaifeng, the capital of Kublai Khan's Mongol Empire. They stayed until 1269 and returned to Europe with the request for the Pope to send 100 missionaries to the Mongol Empire. The message was relayed to the Pope, but he did not send the missionaries as requested. Marco Polo's First Journey Marco accompanied his father and uncle to the Holy Land, Persia, Tartary, and to the Empire of China. The Polo family traveled across the Silk Road. In 1274, they reached Cathay and renewed their friendly acquaintance with Kublai Khan in Peking and presented him with papal letters. Marco's father and uncle were given important positions at his court. While here, Marco studied the Chinese language, which he learned to speak. The Polo's stay in China. Marco Polo's voyage to China was important because it was land that the Europeans had never visited before. While in China, he was promoted to governor of the great Chinese city, Yangzhou. In 1275, Marco was appointed as an envoy or a messenger or representative for Kublai Khan and traveled through China. From then on, he was employed as an envoy for the Chinese monarch. Polo family leaves China. In 1293, the three decide to make their way back to Venice. However, they escort Princess Kokuchin to her wedding and the party after. The fleet of ships that had the wedding party on it sailed southward on the China Sea. Stops were made at Borneo, Sumatra, Ceylon, and other places, including the Persian Gulf. They were entertained by the Persians for weeks and adorned with expensive gifts. Polos arrive back in Venice. They arrived back in Venice in 1295 with the finest collection of jewels. They were changed in appearance. They dressed in Tatar costume and spoke Chinese. It was hard to convince people they were members of the Polo family. Upon their arrival, the Polos threw a lavish party dressed in Chinese garb. At the bottom of the robes, rubies, emeralds, and diamonds were sewn into the lining. In 1298, Marco Polo was made a gentleman commander of a Venetian galley. Marco Polo was captured by the Genoese. When Marco Polo returned from Cathay, Venice was at war with Genoa. They were fighting for the trade of the world. In a great naval battle, the Venetians were completely defeated by the Genoese. Marco Polo was involved in the battle and was captured by the enemy. Marco Polo dictates an account of his travels. For a year, he was confined to the Genoese prison. While here, Marco dictated his experiences to China, Japan, and other countries to a cellmate, who is a skillful penman. Copies of the manuscript exist today. One copy is in Paris and another is in Bern. The accounts were translated into many different languages, so everyone is aware of his travels. The Impact of Marco Polo's Travels on Europe Marco Polo's travels increased Europe's cultural knowledge of the East, in everyday lifestyle and also religion. Marco Polo's travels encouraged European geographic knowledge of the East. He also inspired the Age of Discovery, 
This encouraged Western exploration, which led to the first European voyages to the New World. Christopher Columbus also used Polo's accounts of his travels to help estimate the distance involved in sailing west to China. Polo's system of measuring distances by days turned out to be very accurate for later generations. He impacted European map making to reflect real physical geography. He brought back the compass to Europe. He also encouraged new trade routes. He shared inventions from the Far East, such as paper money, coal, which led to long-lasting heat, and gunpowder. The impact of Marco Polo's travels on today. Marco Polo's work is considered the precursor of scientific geography. He was also the inspiration for the exploration of outer space in the 20th century. Marco Polo was the inspiration for international trade between the East and the West. Here is a map of Marco Polo's travels between 1271 and 1295. 